What in the hell are you doing? You guys are so dumb. You act like your brains are rotted out. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19. And we're going to pick up right where we left off and uh, do Dell's Diner here. Um, so it's been several days, actually, since I recorded the last episode. I have been super busy with work, guys, and apologize um, that I didn't get a video out uh, this morning, uh, uh, which is uh, September the 5th. Uh, I do try and get a video out every other day for you guys, and I will continue to try to do that, but... There might be a few times over the next couple of weeks uh, where that doesn't happen, uh, but I'll do the best that I can. I'm just very busy with work right now. Um, there's just some stuff going on that uh, makes me a little busier than normal, but hopefully, you know, we can keep keep uh, keep the videos coming. And, and we will keep the videos coming. I don't mean to say we won't. It's just that, uh, again, there might be a couple of times where it's not every other day, but we'll do the best that we can. All right, so... Let's uh, jump right on in and do Dell's Cafe. We do have um, a Zeke over there, but I don't think we need to worry about him. This is a retrieve quest, so we don't have to do the whole thing, but we probably will anyway. So we get the XP, get all into the fat loots and that sort of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the jars. I'm... Uh, I'm using a different mouse than I normally do because my normal mouse, uh, which is a Logitech um, M705, uh, kind of went tits up on me. Um, so my son bought me um, a Ra what is this? A, a Razer Death Adder Elite, which is supposed to be a very good gaming mouse, uh, but I'm just not used to it yet. So um, bear with me as I as I try and try and get used to it. Um, it's got you know DPI the the DPI setting from one to two is a bit of a jump for me and I need to adjust it in the software um, a little bit more. Um, so anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to jump on up on the roof. We need to be careful of of buzzards up here. Uh, but we do have our blunders ready. Okay. So it looks like we have a Ronald McDonald over there. And a backpack in here. Let's grab that. Excuse me. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can get a sneak shot off on this guy. That's what I call a sneak shot. All right. Took his ass out. And uh, we've got a plug here. Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's just, it's weird switching to a, a new mouse, one that you're not used to, because you have all that muscle memory and everything. And uh, so it'll just take a little bit of getting used to this new one. But uh, like I said, it's supposed to be a really good ma uh, mouse. My son, my son bought it for me um, actually a couple of years ago. And I've always really liked the uh, M705. And so I never, you know... I just kind of had this one sitting on the shelf, but I figured, well, what the hell? The 705 is not working. Let's give this one a try. It does have very good reviews as a gaming mouse. All right. Arlene dropped us a bag. What do we got? A green shovel. Well, we're moving up in the world a little bit, a little bit at a time. Uh, speaking of moving up in the world, uh, we are... Uh, game stage 10, so we have two more game stages to go before we... Here, I'm going to actually bump the sensitivity. Oh, shit. No, that's really sensitive. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. Um, two more game stages to go. When we hit 12, that's when we move to the next level, and hopefully we... Oh, God, this is way too sensitive. Okay, let's go back down to the slower one. I, I can I can find a happy medium uh, in the Razer software, but um, I'll, I'll do that later. We'll just do the best we can with this one. Okay, so it sounds like we... Got the attention of Azika Ruski outside. Um, let's go ahead and check the loot in this place. Okay, we got our satchel. Um, this is a salvageable 
uh, vending machine and we will get some steel and stuff from that so let's go ahead and do that now All right, I went ahead and, and uh, tapped out and adjusted the, the mouse sensitivity, so now it's it's a little better. It's kind of what I'm more what I'm used to now. I, I mean, I don't I don't see how a, any gamer can play on on the higher DPI settings. The mouse is so damn sensitive. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how the, how you would even <laughs> be able to do that, but apparently some people do because. The settings there. This mouse is pretty nice too because I can, you know, I can uh, create macros for it, which I might do at some point. Oh, we got a new Zeker. All right, you know what, you guys, we don't have time for this. Stand back up there, Bo. There we go. Okay, well, we took care of the Zeeks in the Fat Loot's room, so we won't have to worry about them when we get there. I mean, we could go in there right now, of course, but we're gonna we're actually going to do the whole building. Uh, we did get the satchel, of course, too. Um, but let's go ahead and finish it out, because we're here. Plus, um, this place has a lot of leather. I mean, a crap ton of leather in it, uh, which we're going to definitely get, because that's going to be useful to us. Oh, shit. We got Darlene's attention. Okay, let's get this loaded. Everybody else loaded? That's what killed me before, man. I didn't have my damn blunder blesses. Blunder blesses buses. Blunder buses loaded. Oh, she gave us a bag too. Nice. It isn't the first time I've been killed because of that, and it probably won't be the last. <laughs> It's just too damn easy to do. Ooh, 607 cash. That's actually really nice. How about a toilet pistol? I don't know if I'd get a toilet pistol this early on, but man, if I did, that would be nice. That would be fan frickin tastic Okay, we'll take that stuff. See if there's anything behind here. There sure is. All right, let's check this bathroom. Nothing. Not a thing. All right. Now, let's go around the corner and see what's going to attack us next. We got a crawler. Oh, shit, there's a dog. All right. Let's, um, let's put this here. Okay. Is a crawler coming around the corner? I heard him a second ago. Dude, are you coming? We don't have all day. Oh, there he is. Can he get, climb up on this? The crawlers used to be able to climb up on, on one block. Oh, there's two clot. Oh, well, they can if there's someone for them to crawl on top of. Yeah, there's two crawlers. Ah, this is bullshit. There we go. I mean, I'm still trying to be somewhat conservative with my blunderbuss ammo, but I mean, enough's enough. Come on. <laughs> I still am planning on putting a point into sexy T, but I want to I want to get to the mini bike first. I think that's the higher priority. Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of leather in this place, so um, I will I will harvest all that up off camera. Because uh, it's worth getting, for sure. Man, we need um, we need leggings. 
leg armor. That's what we need. Okay, is everybody loaded? I'm going to double check because my track record hasn't been too good with that lately. There's Zombo behind the counter. I don't see one. What about around this corner here? Nope. Okay. Somebody broke through that way. Let's check the fat loots. That crate actually took a little bit of damage. Nothing there. Let's get some bones from that thing. Okay, let's see what we got. And we are full. And the fat loots. There's our leggings. Okay, so we now have a full set of armor. Let's, um... Whoops. I keep hitting the wrong button. Slow down, old guy. You're going too fast. Um, let's eat this just to get it out of our inventory. And, wow, we are, like, completely full. Okay, let's modify this. And we'll put the blade mod on there. Is there anything else we don't absolutely need at the moment? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go drop off all this stuff at our drop chest outside. And then I'm going to come back in here and harvest up... Oh, I can harvest that too, nice. I'm going to come back in here and harvest up all of these couches uh, for the leather and get a couple other things in here too, uh, just for the resources. And then I will meet you guys back at the trader. And we will do our turn in and then see what is next after that. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's see what we get. Hey, make hey, quick. Well, you did. Uh, Art okay. of Mining, Volume 5. Oh, you want to be paid. Craft basic resources like ore, stone, and wood into more compact stacks that are easier to carry. Oh, wow. 120. 762s. I'm taking those. <laughs> I mean, that other one would have been nice, but we need the 7.62s because we're going to come across a <clears throat> hunting rifle and or an AK. Um, we might find those in, in level 2. Probably not till we get to level 3, though, in terms of our game stages. Okay, um, let's sell a couple things to you. What do we want to sell to you? We want to sell you the cash. It's a nice little chunk of change there. Four silvers and six diamonds. Where did we get six diamonds? Dang. That's almost 2,000 coin right there. Nice. I don't even remember where the hell I got those. Uh, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Don't think I want to sell anything else to him right now. I did have to leave a few well, things behind in our drop chest. Something. Um, and even with, with that, it was still slow going and getting over here. Okay, we've got a fetch quest that's 800 meters away. That's the closest one. So I guess Take that's the... Number. And Ooh, that is the coal job. factory. Okay. Glad you came. What do we got in here? Okay, we've got enough money that we can start buying um, some candies now. So I'm going to buy those three. Uh, don't think we need any of the rest of those. Okay, where's this quest at? It is that direction. So it's in an area that we haven't been in yet, but... Um... Okay, so it's actually back in the same town, but then just south, a little bit south. So we can just go back down the road or, or cut across this way. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go home, do some inventory management, because I'm, like, seriously overloaded here. And then um, the coal factory doesn't take too terribly long to do, so I think we could probably get that knocked out uh, in this episode, too, if we, if we move as quickly as we can. So... I'll meet you at the coal factory. Gotta make them drop chests. At some point I need to, to make some pockets for all my clothing. Um, I know I need to do that, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Too many things to do. Alright, let's put stuff in here we don't need to take with us. Excuse me. There's no vending machines in the coal mine, so I don't need to take any money. Um, we don't need to take the egg. Now, we're going to double loot. So there's actually a couple of things we can double loot uh, in here. Let's get these down here. So there's, a, like, a secret stash up here in this little shack, shack a doodle thing. Uh, 
So let's bust in through here. More blunderbuss ammo. Um, but we don't need another orange blunderbuss. Well, you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll sport four while we go in here. We got a skill point. All right, let's see. We are fast tracking uh, the mini bike. Um, so let's see, Grease Monkey one, and we can get the mini bike with the next level. Come on. Nice, bandolier. Um, we, yeah, we can put that on here. Sweet. Okay, that'll help us load our blunders faster. Another secret stash down here. Yeah. Nice helmet there. Don't care about that. I don't care about those. And let's check the fat loots. Um, wow, we still don't have any leg armor. Crap, man. Okay, let's scrap a doodle that. Uh, we could wear a doodle those. Those, because we don't get the noise penalty uh, with cloth armor. Let's take a look now. Do we have... Yeah, we have cloth armor on every in every slot except for uh, the shoes. Don't need that stuff. Okay, cool. Good deal. Nice little supply of brass. Ooh, what do we get there? Uh, craft fireman helmets and take 5% less damage when wearing them. Hmm. What do we need to, to make with those? Firefighter's helmet. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Does this come with the light on it, too? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we'll actually make one of those. We we can do that right now. Well, not right now, but I mean when we get back to the base. We have the skills to do it and the resources to do it is what I'm trying to say. Let's scrap that. We don't care about the lead. This is, is another fetch quest. All right, um, I don't remember if there's any Zeeks in this first room or not. I think there might be. Uh, what we're going to do, though, while we're here, is we're going to... Nerd pull up here and get that uh, secret stash. Ah. Okay. All right, do we see any Zeeks down here? Yeah, there's one down in that corner there. All right. Question is, though, is there another one besides that one up here? Make sure we're all loaded. That's just a Ronald McDonald. Holy shit. I'm glad we have four blunderbusses now. Sounds like we got the attention of somebody from outside. They won't be able to immediately break in here. Um, 
Holy crap, I guess they can. How did he get in here so quick? Oh, ladder, ladder, yeah, right, 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 ladder. Duh, okay. <laughs> it's like going... How the hell did he get up here? Uh, let's, um... Let's get rid of this ladder. I guess they changed it to where we can't loot the barrels anymore. You used to be able to get dirty water out of them. Which was kind of useful in the early game. Alright, let's hop on down. I'm gonna grab my torch back. Lots of coal in here. What we're going to do for this is we're going to put a, a little platform down because we're going to have to fight a few Zika Ruskies here. Uh, and let's put a torch up too so we have a little bit of light. Maybe one there, too. We'll move this over to here. We're going to put that back there. All right. So we're going to have probably two Zeeks in here. So Hawaii Five O. All right. Let's give him something to remember us by. Got the attention of someone outside. Oh, for goodness sakes, hit the guy. Okay, so, sounds like there's two Z Zikos upstairs. They could theoretically break through the wall and then jump down the elevator shaft. All right, well, we're just gonna have to be really careful. Let's uh, put this down. All right, now there's going to be Zika Ruskies up above here too. But they might not spawn in until we actually get up there. There's a backpack or a purse or whatever the hell that thing is. Lots of coal. We don't really need coal from here, though, because we got that big coal mine right out in back of the house there. Okay. What I want to do is see if we can get these upper ones to spawn in, and then we're going to also give them something to remember us by. They're usually on the other side of those uh, beams there. Okay, yeah, there's a Steve right there. There's usually two Zeeks up there. Yep. Businessman zombie, what are you doing in the coal mine? Okay. Let's 
see here. That should clear everything out from... Oh, come on, get your foot out of the way, man. From this immediate section, we're going to have some another one or two in the cage over there. Unless we get surprised, which we could. Those two upstairs are making a little bit nerve-wracking just because it kind of sounds like they're down here. Okay. I think we're good. Or zombos in here. There might be one more, actually. Now that I think about it. Nope. I think we're good. Okay, let's do this again. Let's check the fat loots. We've got some padded leg armor, but it's the same as what we currently have. See, the thing that's kind of dangerous about here is that, that ceiling there, or that roof, is actually made out of paper. So if the zombies hit it, uh, they can just jump right up over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay in the shaft so if that does happen we can quickly retreat. Otherwise, let's see if we can take them out this way. What in the hell are you doing? You guys are so dumb. You act like your brains are rotted out. Oh, wait. I guess they kind of are, huh? Edgar, what are you doing? Get over here. Bring your head over here. Okay. Can we... Here, poke your head in here again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that didn't kill you? That did. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Okay. Now, Darlene, here. are we fully loaded? Okay. Stick your head all the way in here, Darlene. There we go. Okay. Love it when the plan comes together. All right. Guys, we are out of time, so what I'm going to do is very carefully make my way back home, because it is nighttime outside, in case you didn't notice, and um, just do stuff around the base as usual, probably do work on the mine some more, that sort of thing, and then in the morning, um, when the trader opens, we will start the next episode, and we'll go do our turn-in, and then continue on from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did... Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And remember, um, I will try, continue to try and do uh, a video every other day, but there might be a couple of times where it might be every second day uh, while work is very busy for me. But it should calm down uh, in a few weeks, okay? Thanks, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.